Download free design files from ambitious.co.za slash laser art. Just click on the link in the details below and enjoy. Welcome back guys for another laser art project and today we're going to be doing a nice and easy one which is poker chips and from watching this video afterwards you should be able to make an entire set all by yourself. So let's get to it. Once we have downloaded our free vector and we've inputted in our program we can then start. The first thing we need to do is select which layer we want to do what. So let's do it. First thing we need to make sure that we're going to look at our top layer here which I've selected. This will be cut out. In here we'll have our actual poker chip that we're going to slide in and turn around so that we can do both sides and this also will prevent the disc from moving and always keep its origin which is going to be great because then we know it's engraving in the same place as always. So let's do this. So first we're going to need to select our top here and I'm going to be making it purple and for that I would like it to cut. So we're going to leave that to cut. Next I also need to choose my actual poker chip. Where do I want it to be cut? In this case I want it to cut on the outer edge as I've put here. So we're going to select both of our poker chip outer layers and also turn them purple. You can choose whichever color you feel like is necessary. I'm just using purple and black as an example of what I want to be engraved or cut. Now that I've selected everything that I want to be cut, we can now select our layers on the top right hand side and change them to what we need to be. So we're going to leave the black inside so we don't have to change the color. We're going to leave it and we need to change that to engrave. Now remember you always want to engrave first and cut later so that the engraving and the actual piece of wood doesn't move around. Once it's engraved then you can cut. From there we have to do our power settings. So let's go to engrave. Engrave, I want to make sure that it has enough engraving just so it looks cool and not too deep, also not too shallow. For this I'm going to be leaving it at 500 speed I'm going to be changing this to a 40% engraving power. Make sure your bi-directional and your engraved blow is on all the time and we're only going to be doing it once. So we push OK. Next we need to do our cut settings. Now normally I would use a power setting of 65 and 65. Our speed is 20. We're going to leave this alone. This is my average cut settings, which I'm happy with, so we're going to just leave it as is. Again, depending on which material you choose and what power settings you want to go with depends on how it's going to come out. So we're going to push OK. From there, we are now set up and we are ready to go to the cutter and do the rest. So let's quickly do it. Now we're here at our laser. First thing we're going to need to do is select all our artwork and make sure it's within our selected area. From there we've already made our power settings clear and we've done what we want to engrave and which layer needs to be first. From there you can either push start or we can download but I prefer downloading so I'm going to download it to my machine and once it's downloaded then we can prepare it to cut it. Today I'm going to be using a piece of scrap wood because again, we're not going to be using a very big piece, so let's quickly load this in. And the next thing we need to do is just make sure our head height is done correctly. So let's quickly do it. Now that I've checked my test area and I'm happy with where it is, we put on our extractor fan and we go. Now that we've cut out our first piece and engraved our first sides of our poker chips, 
The next stage is to use the little piece that we've cut out, the two holes, and reverse them so that we can do the other side without any issues whatsoever. So let's quickly do it. So the first thing here is we've already done our poker chips and we're also left with this little bracket so to speak. Now this I'm going to place here um, and from there we can then do the other side of our poker chips. So just make sure your poker chip is the right way around and all we need to do is flip it over and put it inside. And then same goes for the other one. We just flip it over, make sure it's lined up straight and we put it upside down and put it in. And that way we can always engrave in the same place every time. Keep in mind that you should not move this piece out of your piece of wood once it's finished engraving. Because remember this was originally in here and the only way to engrave identically within the circle is if you didn't move this piece whatsoever. And because I did move it, I now need to realign it so that we can do the other side without any problems. If you did not move your carriage, which normally you shouldn't, then you'll be A-OK. -okay. If you did, it's all right. All we need to do is make sure that our laser is in that corner from where we actually started our origin. Now, the only way to make sure that that's in the right place is if we test fire the laser to make sure it hits that corner. If we've done that correctly, then we know we're spot on in that corner, and then we just need to do it in another place to make sure that our piece of wood is actually straight. Okay, cool. Now that that's done and we are lined up again, if you had moved it, but we're ready to go, so let's go back to the program. Now that we're back here at our program, our first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that these are within our rectangle because we've lined up our laser to each corner so it engraves within the circle that we cut earlier. So we need to make sure that we select our entire poker chip and we're gonna move it up with our arrow until it's just in line. Now that we've done that, we can then delete our cut lines because now we no longer need to cut. All we're doing is engraving on the other side. Same for this one. Now that that's done, we just need to also delete these cut lines. From there, we select our artwork within the rectangle, not the rectangle. And the next setting you have to have selected is our selected only setting, which will make sure that only what we have selected is actually engraved and we don't want anything else cut because we've already cut those out. And from that, we can then download or start our job. I'm gonna quickly download it. And there we are, now we can continue. Now, the first time that we did this, it has our one artwork on the one side and our other artwork on the other side. What I've done here is basically created a double-sided engraving. So we can either leave them exactly where they're supposed to and have the same artwork on each side, or we can switch them around. It's up to you, but I'm gonna quickly switch them around so that we have two different artworks on one coin. So we're gonna make sure that we actually switch these around without damaging them and we also want to make sure that we don't move any of this because we've just lined it up to do our engraving in the correct place so just keep that in mind that you want to keep this piece of wood as still as possible so again we want to make sure that it is flat and we're going to turn it around and swap sides Now that I've switched them around, we are ready to do this. So I'm going to push my extractor fan on and push start.
Well, would you look at that? That looks really good. Now all it needs is a clean. All right, let's quickly give it a good wipe down with a damp cloth. Make sure we get all of that residue away. Oh, look at that. And what a really nice job, well done. Guys, if you'd like to see more of these videos, more projects that you'd like to do, it really helps to give us a like. Subscribe if you haven't. And if you've got any comments, they really do mean a lot to us. So please give us a like and we'll see you in the next one. At am.co.za, we have always taken pride in our products and customer service. Our Google rating represents our commitment to providing our clients with the best support possible. We have officially achieved a rating of 4.9 stars and an astounding 699 reviews for our Jet Park branch in Johannesburg at the end of 2020. Let's move our attention to our branch in Montague Gardens of Cape Town where we have achieved a rating of 4.8 stars and an amazing 299 reviews. We would like to thank you, our loyal customers. Thank you, South Africa. am.co.za. Achievement matters.